Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we are now on board of our crude oil ship heading to the offshore oil kind of drills right now as this is part of our oil industry. Now the reason we're looking at this is because today we are going to be extending our oil industry to New Orleans. Now currently it's all set up within Houston. The only problem with this is uh, when we look at the uh, kind of where it turns the oil into fuel, it has so much it can't, you know, dissipate as much as we've kind of got. But at the same time, the oil, where it turns the crude oil into oil, there's just so much here and there's about to be a whole new delivery about to come in as well. I need to divide it with the oil industry within New Orleans to be able to produce twice as much fuel because we're already at capacity. So we're going to try and switch a few things up, get it all up and running, and hopefully distribute into many, many more cities throughout the, the lands. So if you guys are enjoying Transport Fever 2, then make sure you smash a like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But last episode, we added in the brand new line that goes to our distribution center, kind of big switch interchange. All the way up for Oklahoma City, into Kansas, and it pretty much terminates in Minneapolis. And then we had another system set up to run. I believe it was from Salt Lake down to Denver, to Kansas, into Chicago, which crosses four routes. That's quite quite a big, big line that we kind of created there. And uh, things are going swimmingly. We're making so much cash, I don't know what to do with it right now. I've got nearly $25 billion in the bank. Let that sink in right now. It is crazy. It is crazy, but forget all that for a moment. There's many, many cities right now which are not getting the fuel required. So, to take a look at this then, if we go to town statistics and bring this up, and sort it via cargo, you can see the cities that require the, the, uh, the fuel. I don't know if you can kind of, you can't really sort it via secondary, can you? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure how that kind of works, but uh, cities that require fuel, Oklahoma, Minneapolis, El Paso. El Paso's just here. But um, Oklahoma, Minneapolis, we got Oklahoma just here. Minneapolis all the way over here right now. Both need fuel, which are not getting it, and El Paso. Going down the list, we've then got uh, Caba San Lucas. Wait, where's that? Oh, of course, it's all the way over here. In the I forgot about that city. <laughs> I literally forgot about that city. That's not good, is it, boys? That's not good. Uh, and it's literally, I think it's just those cities. Now, to be able to supply them, we're going to need a lot more that we can kind of produce right now. I know that these industries only really produce to the demand, but I'm already at 400 production. There's no matter what I do right now, I can't pump any more in. So, we're going to set this one up here. Now, there's a couple of things that we kind of need to do. We need to bring the fuel from around here uh, to here, get it produced into oil from crude oil, sent over here to be reduced into fuel, and then we're going to try and bring it all the way down to here because this is going to be our fuel distribution hub. So there's going to be some intricacy when it comes to uh, building the trade line to it, and it's kind of going to be a little bit OTT. Yeah... There's going to be some some configurations, is the best way to pull it. It's the best way to pull it, boys. But we can do this. We can do this. So I think we'll first start, then, by bringing some oil over. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice one of these to, to, to fill this. And I think I'll do this one here, as it's the closest one. Uh, that way, we can have a consistent flow coming in. Uh, and because it's so close... These have their two going over, so it almost works out the same delivery because these got to come from so far away. So we need to build a little bit of a port just here then. So shipping, cargo harbour, and if I put it to there, it will touch, which is perfect. And we've just got to configure this so we can accept a large ship. So delete the, uh, the landing just there and all that jazz, get some cargo set up, drop you in... Uh, land in for the large bam, and that's technically all I need to do So the ship that comes into here, which is crude oil to Houston free will manage this line and delete the Houston part And we'll add the station just here to uh, New Orleans So I'll rename that now uh, No 
No, uh, Orleans. How do you spell Orleans? Is it like that? Is it like that? No, it, there's no E there. Lanes. New Orleans, boys. New or oh, you'll be happy to know, guys. Uh, I've renamed all my lines, so please stop shouting at me in the comment section right now. I've renamed them all. Leave me alone. That's bullion. That is bullion to the finest. So, this ship... Actually, is how many ships are on this line? There's only one ship, which is 208 years old. Let's manage this and replace it for something new. Either the same model, just newer. Which would be this puppy here. So, let's replace it for that. It's a lot newer, boys. So, hopefully, it's a lot more speedier. I don't know if they slow down as they get older. I'm not too sure. Or is it just their maintenance costs get a lot more extravagant? It's probably what it is. Now, we've got to do something It's going to be quite difficult. Okay? It's going to be quite difficult. We need to get the the, the oil here from being produced from crude oil. The oil here to there. Now... I kind of want to do it with a train, but I know that's going to be so difficult. I could do it with vehicles, but I want huge demands being transported to and from. But also, I need to hook up a train station to this, so I'm going to take the fuel back to over here. Now, this train station in question here, I don't think I have the ability, or I might have the ability, to get it connected. I don't know. Let me, let me see what happens here. Let me get the road in. And if I bring the road across as a bridge, and then we go for a slight little bend straight in. But at the same time, I want maximum connections to my oil industry. So can I run this? Will this connect? Actually, we can go a lot closer than I thought there. All right, that's there. So there's, an there's another connection just here. Now, I don't think this is close enough. No. I could put a little uh, kind of entry point. I, oh, no, I can't. I don't have a... Um, can I get a small platform here? Right, I'm going to do a line of platforms here. Uh, let me do one more. Now, I won't use it, obviously, the platform. It's just to try and... It's to try and merge a connection all the way over. This is the this is the levels I'm going to right now to avoid building a, an additional station. It doesn't matter if I have to build the station. It doesn't really matter. It's not the end of the world. Right, that's a there. Does that now... Is it close enough to connect to this? No. I don't think we're going to win. Unless... Right, delete this bridge. Yo, it takes like a gazillion years to delete a bridge. What's going on? Right, delete you, delete you, delete you, delete you, delete you. I know we're going slightly backwards here. Right, there we go. It now connects. Perfect. So I could use one of the cargo platforms on this train station now, which is amazing. But of course I gotta bring and I don't think I can get this connected to this. Which I don't think I want to. So we'll keep this as a separate one. Just for the sake of it. We'll keep it as a separate one. We'll go for a super long platform. Oh, we're going to press on all the wrong buttons now, aren't I? Super long platform. I'm going to go here. Like this. And... Hopefully, the length of it will connect, which it should do, which it does, because I need to get this aligned into here. Now, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but we should be okay. We should be okay. Let me do my signals real quick. We're going to have to have a signal going out to there. One just there. Right, get rid of that one here. And then this one. Not after it. Before. And that's it. So we shouldn't have any issues on that junction whatsoever. But I've just realized I need multiple lines here. Because you got one that's dropping the oil off and then one's picking up the fuel. 
bit annoying. I could have just put the uh, additional platform down. But it is what it is at this point. So I don't have the space. This is not an industry I thought I were going to have set up and running. But here we are, boys. Here we are. It is what it is. Also, I'm going to upgrade that one little set of tracks there as well. That's kind of annoying. Right, anyway. Anywho. And i got to make sure the vehicles aren't too long. The trains. Uh, there we go. That they don't stick out over the crisscross. Because that has happened before many, many times. Many, many, many times. Right, tools. I'm going to high speed. Even though we're not really going high speed there. But I just do it for the sake of my, you know, willpower. Uh, right, where's the cargo platform here then? So it's actually there. Oh, snap. It's actually completely free. This is perfect. So new line from there to here and just make sure it goes on the right side and, and New Orleans so we'll do number three perfect now this will only be a small train because the distance it has to travel is so minuscule <laughs> so minuscule we don't need to worry now this ship is coming over loads of goods right now this will be all stored up but nowhere to deliver as of right now so let's get a train up and running let's buy a train now, this is really not going to make any money, okay? It's not going to make any money, so I'm going to go for this one, the lowest in yearly value, but I don't think it'll even make enough money to pay back its debts. So if I go for a 60 capacity to begin with, I feel like that would be enough. So it's got to go on which will now be called line one, because I named all my lines, okay? I, yeah, I know I need to name that line as well. Leave me alone. <laughs> So that would now start producing, which we should start to see oil on the platform, which we do. Glorious. And now I can run a line from here over to here. But I've got to bulk this station out a bit more. I've now got to re-bulk the station out a bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, another line here. Right, come on. Is it easy, easy to pause it? I don't know. Hang on, I'm doing double. I'm doing triple lines here. Right, do a row of uh, cargo platforms. We're going to try and get multiple lines because like, I can see it's having multiple trains coming out of here. Ooh, jazzy. Uh, that's it. Configure. So, we'll do that. And then we'll do another set. Oh, this is going to be painful. This is going to be painful. But we're going to have to reconfigure everything on this station. Now, I want multiple lines because we're so close to the main train line. I don't want any trains waiting to turn in. I want them to have the free will to go in. And nothing's holding on stopping them up. So, wait for this train to skadoodle out. So, we've got two train lines that go into here. And we've got to change each one of them. So, wait for them to go a little bit further in. Right, pause, because this one's now about to come in. Oh, no. So, we have one that goes from here back to there, which is the purple line there. We have to change that to the closest platform here. So, using our train tracks. Actually, let me delete what we've currently got in. Alright, delete, 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 delete. Alright, so there should be fine. Uh, tracks. I'm on upgrade, aren't oh, no, I? Something like that. Right, cool. Here we go. So, bring it down to there would be fine. And then bend it in. Now, it's only going to utilize itself on this one. And that's all it needs to do. So, the line itself... Manage the line. 
So in Houston, Texas branch, it will go on number six. So that's all good. That can now do what it needs to do. And we've technically just slightly shortened the distance. Now I've got to wait for this terrain to come in. I'm going to move this one onto the second one just there. Because it's coming from that direction. And then we'll bring the one that we're about to create next onto this one. And then we got these three here to go out and go to the left to go to the cities that require the fuel. So I've just got to wait for this now to scoodadoodle out. Scoodoodling. We are scoodoodling. Now it should. Wait. That's a good point, Hold and gone. I've just made a good point in my head. There is two trains on it. There is two trains on it. So, delete, delete. Right, that's all now gone. Goodbye. So, this has to merge in with this. Now, I reckon what we should actually do here is delete you, delete you, delete you. Because we're going to have two lines borderline coming here. I'm going to utilize this one to be the connected. So they both go in like that. And then we'll lead off this. And then, actually, no, let me delete that. Hmm. Well, I'll sort out the signals out in just a moment. How can that not be possible? Oh, is it because of the signal? I think it might be because of the signal. Yeah, it was because of the signal. Now, we're not going to need to go any other direction because the way we're going to have them set is is pretty much where they go. So there's not, not really any dramas there. The crisscross doesn't really happen. So I'll throw a crisscross on the bend here. But it's too much of a slope. So this is the problem I'm going to have with this. You're pretty much always going to have this issue with there's a bend, Saniac. Too much curvature. But we can get it in just there. We'll lend this into here. And then keep that as it is. I've got two coming out here. Oh, I'm doing this all wrong. I'm completely doing this all wrong. Oh, I just realized I need more going to the left and the right. So in reality, this can come round to here. And this will merge into there. I'll have a second one this way. That will just kind of come into there and then go in. That's all I need. That's literally all I need. Then these guys coming out here. Can then merge in. Oh, don't play these games with me. Alright, there we go. Don't lie to me with these... Wait, hold on. Am I even connected here? What is going on here? Like, where I can't do a simple bend around. Holy smokes. I wouldn't... That is exactly what I just tried to do, but apparently I couldn't do it. Right, sweet. That's all I want. That took me longer than it should have. But that's literally all I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, uh, question, did I change the fuel to Miami one? No, I did not. Let me manage the line and in the Houston branch, it's going to now number five. So that does it perfect. All good, all good, all good. No stress, no dramas. No stress, no dramas. Right, get rid of you just there. Gucci, mate. Gucci. And I've done it wrong again. <laughs> I just realized I'd done the two, but I've just realized I needed the three. So delete you. Oh, why is this so annoying? Well, I know exactly what I've done. So I've got, obviously got to bring this in. Which what I should have done is maybe bring this into here. And then we have a crisscross that happens there and there. That, yeah, okay. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> guys, uh, guys, someone save me right now. Someone legit save me right now. Oh no, this is going to happen again, isn't it? This is low key going to happen again. Right. Do I have a crisscross over here? No. I don't really want to implement a crisscross there. Right, we'll do it like this. Right, there we go. Done. Leave me alone. It's ugly, but it will do the job. It will do the job. New line. <laughs> here. Two over here. So on the new platform there, which is perfect. Crisscross is there. Glorious. This one is on the new line there. Perfect. Crisscross is glorious. So, so finally... We could get this all up and running. So this should now be getting its fuel, which it does. It does, it does, it does, it does, it does. I might need to widen, because there's so many trains now scheduling through this. I'm going to have to widen um, the approaches and whatnot. But let me buy my train first. We'll get this purchased. Uh, wagons. I'll add 140 capacity, which will now be line two. So let me see if I can kind of uh, make this a little bit bigger over here and do some widening. So we have multiple lines that do come through, which is very, very important to us. We uh, it, we, we find this very, very important to us, boys. Um, so trains. Just got to see the lines that do come down. There's quite a few lines, isn't there? We have some bypassing lines, which I feel like will be a good idea to completely miss out on all of this. There's a blue involved, and the blue does not bypass. It's the red and orange, which come from this direction. We're going to do some underground bypassing lines. So, shut the front door for a minute, because this is about to get tasty. So we'll leave this in in case I do need to add in more train stations. And we're going to do a complete bypassing route right now, which is going to allow us to take a little bit of the burden off New Orleans train station. Okay. So that could go in there, which might be a little bit too long for my liking. So we'll go to here. Place you in. And we'll come back to that. So track wise If I just do there There and then Right, please don't go on Oh no, it's gonna go on the ground, isn't it? 
No, don't go on the ground. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm allergic to building tunnels. I think I am. I think I low key am. Now, I gotta do it in a way that we don't really mess up the speed, and that works out really well there. I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> Damn, son! Where'd you find this? Right, in. <laughs> That does wonders, boys. Oh, I'm, I'm slowly dying here. I'm slowly dying. Right, we can't do it there because of this. <laughs> oh my goodness me, my nose is going to explode. My nose is going to explode. Right, there we go. Enjoy it for what it is. Okay. I actually might make them a little bit longer. For speed reasons. There we go. So they don't have to reduce their speed as much as they would have had to. Uh, upgrades. Gonna make sure it's high speed. How's that an upgrade button if I can't even do upgrades? What is going on? Um, now I've got to implement something here. So I gotta wait for this train to pass by. <laughs> and I'm completely getting rid of this whole little station section here. I mean, we're still, we got it kept in for some stuff. But I reckon then we pop it up around about here. So let's wait for a little bit of a gap to utilize it. And pause. Right, here we go. So delete you, delete you. And I'm going to delete just to there. Now, we need our track constructions. And, oh, we need it to then go this way around. Like that. So then tracks, we build a little one there. A little one there. Right, let me delete this because I'm going to redo it again. This bend's not working out. There we go. And then same with this one. This is a lot of hassle just to get this to work, isn't it? It is a lot of hassle. But it shall be glorious in the end. Alright, leading this up. Little wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Right, that's now back to be connected. That is so funky. Alright, a little bit further back. So we can enjoy the bend. Uh, this will then bypass. Oh, good. We do have a train thingy over there. We got to connect in. I'll quickly get this in now. So we'll do this like basic of basic. We'll get. Okay, maybe not. 
You in there. You in there. Very, very basic. Nothing too crazy. Now, <clears throat> we're back to normal right now. There's no difference. We just kind of changed some stuff. I'm going to try and get this to now be connected. Oh, it's a lot further down than I thought it was. To there. Which the whole thing should be a tunnel, which it is. And then to do the same going the opposite way. Right, hold on. Construction not possible? Why? Why? Right, something happens along the way and I can't figure out what it is. I think it's just me, me kind of placing it in. So, does anybody use it? So, straight away, the red and the orange routes are using it. There's two less lines that now go through uh, New Orleans. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We do have this red route here that tears through. Where does this red route come from? Oh, it's this route here. Of course it is. Of course it is. And that red route could go on the underground section. There's nothing stopping it. But it's less trains on it. Which is amazing. Now, obviously, there's a lot more we could do. But you got to give it time right now to kind of go through the bypasses. And because we got rid of a lot of signals, there's now a lot less train line that they can go on. So put those signals there. I'm going to do another one just here. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I do need them under here. That's a good point. There we go. There we go. Right, we should start seeing a little bit more movement now. Amazing! Get one just there. But there's still some cities that they still got to go through anyway. They still all got to go through Houston. So, you know, it's not all sunshines and rainbows right now. Uh, right, they're producing. How much oil is over here waiting? 32. So we're not really at full capacity just yet. So this will, this will take time. This will take time. It will take time. That's upgrading, by the way. So that's good to see. Let's go back to get some more fuel. How much is on here waiting for us? Over 200. Okay, really good. Really good. So this and that does take time. This and that does take time. We've created a bypassing route, which is going to free up, you know, two routes in New Orleans. But they still all have to pass through uh, Houston. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. It is what it is. It does what it needs to do. But, you know, very happy with it so far. So this will be getting less oil coming in, both of these, because obviously we're one less kind of offshore drill down as it now goes to over here. So hopefully we start producing more as well. There's 45 ready to be picked up. You're now go. Oh, hold on. That's no, 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 no. I just realized what this line's doing. It's picking up fuel and oil. So, in New Orleans, only load fuel. Only unload fuel. You got it? Sweet. So, this would have been getting less less oil because we were also transporting that back. Well, that's not, that defeats the purpose, doesn't it? That does defeat the purpose. But this has got now 232 on board, which now this... Oil refinery can use all 232. 
I find that hilarious. <laughs> Funny. Right, there we go. We're on it now, boys. We're on it. Trains are skadoodling. It's not as jam-packed anymore, which is what I like to see. Which is what I like to see. So, with that all up and running then, we'll be constantly getting fuel coming in. Now, as of right now, as of right now, um, we have multiple cities that do need the goods. But they also require food as well. Now, we have a food plant over here. But we're not feeding it. We're not feeding it. So we've got a couple of options that we can kind of lay up right now. Everything that gets produced from Oklahoma can feed these new cities that also require fuel. And I've got two options. I could either create a distribution hub nearby. And we lead all food and fuel into it. So one train delivers both fuel and food. Even though the train's going to have different carriages. I could do that. Or we could have individual trains that do the job for us. Now, I can come all the way over here, but we have too many uh, routes already leaded up onto this. And it's a little bit out of the way. Because then I can just bring the fuel up to like a distribution hub around here. Makes my life ten times easier. You know what I mean? It's probably what we'll end up doing. It's probably what we'll end up doing. Right, so by the time this comes back with another delivery... We've already completely obliterated it. 235 is a little bit more than last time. That train there's got zero on board. Oh, it's the wrong train. It's this one. That's the one that brings the goods back. There's a little bit to bring back, but not really much. This doesn't really have much to pick up. It's in between boats. It's in between boats at this point. <laughs> so just waiting for the rest of the goods to come over. There's 235. There's currently 97, 98, 100 currently waiting. There'll be over 200 when this one goes back again. So there's a slight delay, but it will build up. When we get more cities on the other end, there'll be so much more demand going on. There will be so much more demand going on. So this should start having a load of... Yep, oil now starting to load up on the platform. Right, this is working out. So we've got the infrastructure now in place. We now just need to implement the end result. We have got to implement the end result. Um, there is other oil nearby, as you can see, and the fact that we have this train station linked to this, which means I can just train all the crude oil in here, and it will then just get refined really, really easy. Same for this one as well, because this one's now slacking slightly. So having that one less uh, ship coming in has had a, uh, a profound effect on us. It really has. So, you can see the difference right now. I think this route here will, will duplicate the ship. And get two on that one. Because it's so far away, that one. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We're still waiting for shipment on this. And the transport numbers to go up as well. It will get there. It does have... Um, these are its consumers right now. Only three cities are really getting it. Never-ending cycle, boys. A never-ending cycle. It's all good here, though. It's all good. Oh, does its job. Only eight on board of that in total. Hilarious, isn't it? It is hilarious. So it's like 40 crude oil becomes 20 oil becomes 10 fuel. So from 40 
you get 10 fuel. It's crazy, isn't it? It goes, it's, it's always two into one. It's always two into one. Alright, that's got a bit more coming in. So we can start producing again. This number will slightly increase. 12. <laughs> will we go to 13? Is it possible to get to 13, boys? Wait, why is that number not going up? That route's set up right, isn't it? New Orleans, load. Houston, unload. Ah, 14, okay. It's just very slow. It's just very slow at this moment in time. I think we got to get those transport numbers up, don't we? I think we do. Um, right, Houston, you still growing? Yes. New Orleans took a slight little hit. But, uh... <laughs> still growing. A new road just got built. I do need to connect the city from the other side as well. Should we do that real quick? Let's do that real quick right now. So, bridge, tunnel. Ooh. Right, I'm going to kind of build the city a bit more like this. And I wonder if I go down... The lowest I can go. It's a very, very basic tunnel. It's quite mishmashed. But that will allow us to get from one side to the other. So they, they connected both sides, okay? <laughs> it's not perfect, but it'll do what it needs to do. Uh, right. Right train heading back right now has got 18 fuel on. So that should make, uh, I won't say decent cash, but it should make some good money. Now, but this is only being fueled to the Bahamas, so we got to get some other cities set up. So what I think we'll do, we'll just get one city hooked up to it. And I think we'll get Oklahoma City hooked up to it. And it's only going to um, distribute fuel for now. So I won't do too big of a train, but it'll add an additional city onto our New Orleans route. Thus creating more demand. So we've got 80 capacity. Which will be my line free. Because all the fuel coming down to here is solely for... Um, right, it's going to Miami by the looks of it. Some of the big bits. Miami doesn't need fuel. It's just bringing it to here because of the uh, the Caribbean islands. And that's the only kind of consumers of it. So adding on more there would would mean that the New Orleans ones are now producing fuel for Oklahoma. So it should be a lot more greedier. Now the reason that transport hasn't gone up. Because any of all the fuel that's been produced in New Orleans. Technically hasn't reached its destination of the Caribbean islands. So it might get to Oklahoma before anything else. <laughs> We shall see. We shall see. So we've also got a long way to go around to see that train get over there. He doesn't have the ability to do the turn going in. So transport numbers have gone up then, so some of it has been delivered to a Caribbean island. There's a lot more fuel now waiting on the platform. You know, because Oklahoma's now involved. And it's just a case I'm now waiting to see it. Okay, there's already three waiting at line three. Damn, boy. Okay. So where is line... Where's the train for line three? It's got to drive the long way around. Oh, I think it's going to Oklahoma first. So it does 99 miles an hour. So we'll watch this puppy come in. Here we go. Slow. 
slight little bridge is going to go over. And then it will begin its journey going back. And by the time it gets back down there, there should be a reasonable amount of uh, fuel waiting for it. So off it goes again. So it's going to take a minute or two to get back. But when it does, there is currently waiting 11 fuel. Now, there might be another delivery by the time it gets back. If so... There's a possibility of 28 fuel being delivered. The train for that is just waiting here. It's waiting for its turn to go in. Let's go wait for this train to pass, for this one to come out. And then off its skadoodles. So would this train get back before the other one? Um, I don't think so. I think it's just coming down here right now. Yeah, the fact that this one's now just loading with 33 on board and now heading back. I don't think it will. But we shall see. Nah, it's not going to. It's now a race. Which train will come first? The one for, for Oklahoma to pick up the fuel or this one? If this one get back here in time, it means there'll be more fuel for Oklahoma. I can see the train coming down now. It's not going to get there in time. Snooze, you lose. That's still over here, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, yeah, snooze, you lose. Here's the train anyway. But either way, it would have grown more demand so that will pick up the fuel there is 16 available amazing so has that got Oklahoma as a consumer well yes it does it does and do you have an Oklahoma consumer you do as well you do as well and this means Oklahoma can then start growing Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get the feud plan all up and running as well. That's something that we'll do next episode anyway. Here is the little train scheduling down. So how have we been doing then? We're doing pretty... I mean, we've pretty much been averaging, you know, nothing too crazy out of the ordinary right now. Headquarters are doing pretty all right. Towns are still consistently growing. Wow. Making quite a bit of profit, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Um, train. Oh, it's coming in. Oklahoma's bound to get a delivery of fuel. So you see the finances. Very expensive. We have just 16 fuel on board. How much can we make? Seven hundred fifty-four big ones. Which is a drop in the water to the scale of the expenses. <laughs> we got our first fuel, boys. We got our first fuel. So how much is now currently waiting? So there's more waiting than there was when it picked up originally. So it's a good sign. It's a very, 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 very good sign right now. Keep it going. Keep it going. A lot more fuel over here. Transport numbers. It's going to take... A, we, got, we got to get the transport numbers up as well. So it's going to take a while. But it's slowly happening, boys. It's slowly happening. We've still got a lot of work to do within this area. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button down below. Until next time, I see you all soon. So, goodbye.